Hey everybody, it's Adolf with Table Flippers, and today we're taking a look at a two to four player game uh, that's currently on Kickstarter. It's called Four Elements. Uh, stick around and see how it plays. All right, so here's a look at the box for Four Elements. You can see it's nicely laser engraved here with the name Four Elements. And on the sides, um, they have all the different elements also laser engraved. And when you open the box, the rules are actually on the sides of the box. Uh, which is interesting. I don't know how useful that is, but it's a pretty interesting thing there. Um, and inside the box, you get four different colored bags for each element. You get uh, water, fire, air, and earth, of course. And these bags contain uh, acrylic pieces for each of the elements. So here's a look at the, uh, the fire element. Here is the air element, the earth, and the water element and you can see that each element uh, is made of different shaped pieces As you can see the air looks like air the fire looks like fire and the water looks like you guessed it water now each of these pieces are made of pretty high quality thick acrylic here um, and they're varying thicknesses and varying weights um, the air is very light compared to like the earth which is pretty heavy um, and these are the pieces that you will be using to play this game. All right, so it's worth noting that each element has three different types of pieces. You have barriers, which are the, um, the longer, bigger pieces. You have the elements, which are the small, circular pieces. And you also have your lord, which is the big version of your little elements there. You see how it's the same shape, but different color. Same goes with the air. You have your elements, your lord, and your barriers. Earth, barriers elements and your lord and your water barriers water elements and your water lord now the object of the game is deceptively simple you are trying to flick your elements into your opposing players pieces trying to knock their lord off of the table now as soon as a piece leaves the table it's out of the game it doesn't matter if it's a barrier if it's an element or if it's the lord um and you do that back and forth, back and forth, until someone's lord falls off the table and the opposing player wins. Now, I have to admit, when I was first received, uh, when I was first sent this game and I brought it to uh, my local game night, my friend sat down and we looked at the pieces and we said, wow, these are really cool pieces. You know, they're very interesting uh, shapes and they're made well and they're high quality. And when I told them the rules of the game were, you're gonna put these however you want and flick them and try to knock your opponent's lord off, they looked at me like, is that it? You know, is there any, are there any rules besides that? And no, it, it's very simple. You can arrange these pieces on your side of the board or your side of the table in any way you like, okay? You can stack them up, you can put them on their ends, you can cover pieces, you can make a tower out of them. It literally does not matter. And the first couple games were okay, you know, we put them out, we put our elements out front, obviously we put our lord in the back and covered it with all the barriers, and we just flipped things back and forth, and it was fun. It was a good time. But then one of my buddies was playing water, and he decided to stack up all of his water pieces in a big tower, like this, and put his lord on top, right? And then he put all of his elements out front, basically just torpedoes. And we had a heck of a time figuring out how to get his Lord off the top of his tower. So what my other buddy started to do was he would take his pieces and he would stand them up like this, right? And then he would flick them like paper football style, like projectiles. And he hit it so nicely one time that it actually flew and it knocked off the top couple pieces of his tower and his Lord went flying off the table. And it was at that moment when my friends and I looked at each other and said, hey, this game is all about metagames, okay? How can I set up my pieces to counteract how he's setting up his pieces? And we realized that the most fun part of this game is in the setup. How are you gonna set up your pieces? Are you gonna cover your lord? Are you gonna stack your lord high up on a tower? Are you gonna barricade it in with all these different uh, barricades with the wind ones, you can connect them together? Um, the possibilities started opening up to us and once we figured that part out, this game became infinitely more interesting to us. We started coming up with new ways to, uh, to protect our lords, stacking, uh, hiding, 
all kinds of interesting things. And that's when this game became really fun for us. And we really, really enjoyed it. We played over and over and over again. People were watching us, wanting to come over and say, hey, you know, what, what are you guys playing over there? I've never seen something like this before. And we told them the rules, and they gave us that same look, like, really, that's it? Just flick the pieces and, and try to knock your opponent's uh, lord off? And we said, yeah, that's it. But once they sat down to play it, and they started learning different setup variations, they were hooked. They didn't want to leave, uh, which was a problem because we had to leave. <laughs> um, but no, this is a great game. Um, the pros to this game would be the quality. Everything is very highly uh, detailed. Each of the pieces has different designs on them. They're all different. Um, even the, the thicknesses, like I said before, some of the pieces are, are thicker, some of them are heavier. So it really affects how you play the game. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend this game. I know I'm gonna back it uh, when it comes up on Kickstarter, which I think it is right now. Um, so yeah, I hope to play this game with my friends when it comes out uh, for real. All right, thanks a lot.